Hey everyone, this is how you can make a Makey Makey Sketch It activity. So first thing that you'll need is an actual Makey Makey. And this is just the outer box. I'm going to show you what's going to be on the inside. So on the inside you have your actual Makey Makey, which is an extension of your keyboard. And on the right hand side you have a red USB connector so that you can connect a laptop or a Chromebook or even a MacBook. And then on the left hand side you have several alligator clips so you can make the connection between the Makey Makey and whatever project that you're working on. For my example I'm just using a piece of 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and this one is actually uh, not cardstock but a little bit thicker than a regular sheet of paper just because you're going to be uh, drawing on it quite a bit. And I also use this number two pencil and you may want to get one that actually works and not one of the cheaper brands that doesn't work. So for my example, I just sketched out a image of the solar system and what I did was I actually put the sun and several of the planets and then I put the names of the planets and what we're going to have is an interactive session where it's going to be an audio clip that I'm going to add so that when you have like a gallery walk or you show it to your students or the students are showing it to the classroom when they touch like Mercury or Venus one of these areas down here and they actually touch the earth as well then it's going to play a sound and I'm going to use scratch to actually record my audio on it so in just a moment I'm going to show you how to connect these to the Makey Makey now on your Makey Makey the bottom part down here is actually the earth. It is the ground. And then these right here, these arrows, actually replicate what you would see on the keyboard with the up, down, left, and right tabs or keys. And then over here, you have a space and a right click for a mouse. Okay? So what we're going to use today is the earth. And I'm actually going to connect it to the earth drawing. And then I'm going to use the up, down, left, and right, and the space. I'm not going to use the click today. So I'm going to connect these to my drawing, and you'll see what that looks like in just a moment. Okay, I've wired this all up, and what I've done is I've taken the yellow, one of the yellow alligator clips. I connected it to the sun, and let me caution you on this. What you want is a really good connection with the graphite pencil. So you may have to go back and really uh, add some more graphite to this box and to this line right here that goes back to the sun. Same thing for the others. You're going to add some graphite as needed so it makes a good conductor. Now with the sun, I've connected that to the actually to the top of my making making so it's the up arrow and then I have mercury here and it's black and it's connected to the left and then the gray one is Venus is connected to the down arrow. Earth now there's a play on terms here. Earth is actually a planet and we actually connected it to where we call Earth. This is just a drawing. It could be anything else, but at some point you have to have an Earth connection. So it could just be like a balloon or it could be a flower or it could be just a dot that says Earth. Whatever that is, I'm just using a play on the solar system here to explain this, but my Earth is actually connected to, well, Earth. So over here, the red one is connected to Mars and connected to the right arrow. And then I have Jupiter is another yellow cable and it's connected to the space. Now over here, I have this red cable and that red cable is my USB connection to a computer or a laptop or Chromebook that I'll plug into when I'm using it with Scratch. Now I'm going to take what I have here bring it over into my scratch session and show you how you can actually add sounds to this and then we'll play it at the very end. Okay, so now we're going to use the scratch platform to add some audio to our project. So just go to Google and search for scratch. And we're going to use the one right here that's at the top for our search. It's scratch.mit.edu. And so we're going to click on that link. Now you may have to make a uh, an account so you may have to do that and pause the video for a second but I'm already logged in 
So I'm going to go right here to where it says create. And Stretch is a drag and drop program. It's very easy to use. There's so much that can be done with it. We're going to do something very simple today. Uh, we are literally scratching the surface. So we're going to go here to sound over here on the left hand side and we're going to look for when space key pressed. So we're going to drag that out to our stage here and we're going to do this for the sun. We're going to make an audio clip for the sun. So I'm going to change this to up arrow because that's where the sun is connected on the Makey Makey. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here to the sounds tab and go down here to the bottom where you can choose a sound and you can actually find sounds here to search for so you can choose just animals and different effects um, mainly an alien creek you know whatever that is really a strange sound okay and you can go back to searching different things and percussions and their sports and space and wacky stuff any of those are great to have um, but that's not what we're using today so I'm going to close those out and get rid of those so go back down here and this is what we're using we're going to use the record feature so there's a little microphone there and I want to record something about the sun you can see that there's a meter that is re reading my voice level right now and I'm just going to record something really quick so here we go this is the sun it is a four and a half billion year old yellow dwarf star and it is at the center of our solar system. So after I'm done recording, I can preview it if I want, if I want to slide this a little bit to cut off some of that dead space before I started speaking, I can do that. Um, I'm gonna play it real quick to see what it sounds like. This is the sun, it is a four and a half billion year old yellow dwarf star, and it is at the center of our solar system. So I'm gonna save that. And notice right here, um, it doesn't have the name of the clip. So you can change the name of the clip right here. And I just want to call that the sun. Make it simple. Okay. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to make a new recording. And then this time, instead of the sun, I'm going to talk about Mercury. So here we go. This is Mercury. Mercury's craters are named after famous artists, musicians, and authors. So I'm going to save that clip, and I want to name it Mercury. Okay, so you get the idea. You're going to do this for each of those uh, different planets that you have on your Makey Makey project. Um, or if you're doing something else, you make your own sound and your own uh, audio clip that you want. Or maybe you can use some of those uh, sound clips that are already included. So now we're going to go back to the coding part. And now we're going to go to sound here and let's scroll up a little bit. And right here, we're going to use this as our next block. So it says play sound Mercury until done. So we're going to drag that over and connect it. And we're actually going to play the sun clip. Okay. And then we're going to add another one of these. Okay. And we're going to do the one for Mercury and Mercury was uh, on the left is a left arrow and we're going to drag one of these play sound mercury until done okay so now when we actually go back and play those arrows so i'm going to do the sun here this is the sun it is a four and a half billion year old yellow dwarf star and it is at the center of our solar system and i want to try the one for mercury which is the left arrow this is mercury Mercury's craters are named after famous artists, musicians, and author. Okay, so now when we have the Makey Makey hooked up, we're going to see how that looks in our next video section. Okay, now that we have our audio clips recorded in Scratch, and we have our Makey Makey connected to our laptop, or our computer, or Chromebook, or whichever one you want, and I have Scratch open, then we also have it connected to our Sketchit uh, project that we have, the solar system here. So I recorded two clips. I recorded the Sun audio clip and the Mercury audio clip. And so when I go to Earth and touch it, and then I touch the Sun over here. This is the Sun. It is a four and a half billion year old yellow 
yellow dwarf star, and it is at the center of our solar system. Okay, and it plays the clip, and then when I go over here to Earth and touch Mercury. This is Mercury. Mercury's craters are named after famous artists, musicians, and authors. Now, what you may have to do in troubleshooting, if these are not touch uh, conductive, then you may have to darken it in with the pencil a little bit and keep on doing that so that that space becomes more conductive. Um, if not, you can just touch the alligator clips and that will actually trigger Mercury. it as well. Mercury's so. craters are named and that is how you make a sketch it project using Makey Makey, some paper and a pencil and a laptop or a computer.